Hello JKTV and welcome to the first episode of Silly Season Talk. And this is of course the first episode of many to come. You're probably wondering right away what this series is all about, or this talk show for that matter. So this talk show or series is all about the rumors and the transfers going around in the football world. Some of the transfers are a bit late since I wanted to do this video earlier but I haven't had the time for different reasons. And also, everything we discuss or everything I will go through in this first episode of a season, silly season talk, is discussable. So if your team is, is one of in the rumors or a player has gone f to you or from your team, you are able to discuss that by leaving a comment on what your thought in, in just that deal is in the comment section down below. So other than that, let's go into the first segment of this video. The first segment of Silly Season Talk is always going to be confirmed transfers and probably the biggest transfer of them all that probably everybody knows about right now is David Luiz from Chelsea to PSG for an estaminated 40 to 50 million pounds and because it's estaminated from between is because it is rumored that the 50 million pound fee on him is a part pay for maybe a hazard deal in the future. I mean, if we're going to have a little bit of discussion about this deal, I, in my opinion, believe this is a bit too much for David Luiz. Sure, he's a great player, but paying 50 million pounds for him is not really, in my opinion, worth it. So let's keep that discussion going in the comment section if you think what you think about this deal. The second transfer of this video will be Mario Sarata has gone and joined West Ham United. He has gotten a 3 year deal plus an optional year, so with simple math that is 3 plus 1 which is 4. So using that uh, optional year will give him a 4 year deal in West Ham of course. And the fee is undisclosed, I, it might be a free transfer, I haven't been able to find it out, so if it is. Please let me know whatever it is in the comment section down below. In his previous clubs has been Inter, Lazio and Birmingham City. And uh, he's joining West Ham from the Argentinian League. The third confirmed transfer will be Mark Testegen from Borussia Mönchengladbach to FC Barcelona on a free transfer. And the contract is five years long. And to end the confirmed transfer segment, we have two deals. We first have Lukas Fabianski, the former Arsenal keeper, now joining Swansea on a free deal, getting his, getting a four-year contract there and uh, ending his seven-year span at Arsenal. And then we have the Argentinian talent Angel Correa, the attacking mid slash forward, joining Atletico Madrid for a estaminated eight to 9 million euros fee and that makes that Atletico own 60% of his rights or whatever you call them and then agent and some other people owns him I don't really know the deal right there but he has joined Atletico Madrid so the second segment of this show is rumors and who doesn't love some football gossip and as for the transfers please just let me know in the comment section and the other views what you think about the rumors in in particular what do you think it will affect the team if they go through and what not what not and what not so the first rumor comes from Italy and that's Sky Italia that says that PSG and Lazio is looking into making a swap deal and that's the place in question is Antonio Candreva against Javier Pastore. Javier Pastore, the first deal of the big project that's starting PSG, hasn't really got the best of times in PSG and hasn't got very much playing time, maybe looking for a new fresh start in Lazio, who knows. The second rumor of today comes in from Gazzetto dello Sport, that means that Mehdi Benesha is a done deal with Manchester City, no fee of course is confirmed in this case, and but it is said that he will earn a year salary of 4 million euros. So the next segment of the show will be called the tales of the rumor strikers going to Arsenal. No, not really, but I will be rambling a couple of names that have been rumored to be the next striker at Arsenal. So we have Morata from Real Madrid, we have Benzema from Real Madrid, we have Eto, which is now leaving Chelsea, we have Remy from Newcastle United, and then we can throw in a Mandzukic there too from Bayern München. So, 
These are the rumored strikers that I haven't heard of. Have you heard of any more? Let me know in the comment section down below. And also, which of these strikers would suit Arsenal the most? So continuing on the segment rumors and not details of the rumored strikers to Arsenal, we have Daily Mirror here with a big, big, big rumor that Real Madrid is going after Sergio Guerrero and the money is not that important, it's just a 60 million euro deal. It seems very unrealistic in my opinion that they would go after him for 60 million euros and also the newspaper states that the president of Real Madrid is getting tired of trying to get Suarez so now he's going after Sergio Aguero. How believable is this? Let me know in the comment section down below. So moving swiftly over to a rumor slash transfer that is a lot more realistic than the previous one is Estadio Deportivo that says that Liverpool has bid 20 million euros plus Susu for the civilian, civilian Sevilla's left back Alberto Moreno. I don't really know how good Alberto Moreno is so if there's any Sevilla fans or any Spanish league fans who can tell me how good he is and if he will be able to fit into the Premier League let me know in the comment section down below. And to end this silly season talk show on a bang we are going with a bang rumor. And it is from Goal, and it's of course Real Madrid, it is 65 million euros, it is Murata plus Coentrao in the deal, and it's for a French international man. Can you guess who it is? I guess you have guessed right. It is none other than Patrice Evra. No, it's not. It is Paul Pogba. The amazing midfielder from Juventus is rumored to Real Madrid, and how realistic it is. Um, it is a lot of cash and if Real is willing to pay this up, Juventus might consider, but is it realistic in my opinion? Not at all. I don't really think Real is putting this much up at stake for Pogba, even though he's very good. But let me know in the comment section down below what you think about if this deal went through, would Real Madrid be unstoppable, the newly Champions League winner? And uh, yeah, that's the end of this segment. I'll have to break it down to you, man. There's no more segments in today's Silly Season Talk Show. But, as always, I want to thank you for watching. It's also the first episode. So, if you would like to see more, why not hit the like button to show that you enjoyed the episode. That's exactly why the like button is there. So you can show me that you liked it. And you can also leave a comment saying you liked it, maybe. And also, I bet I... I've forgotten a lot of rumors and confirmed transfers. So let me know that also in the com comment section down below. And uh, if you want to... Talk to me, follow me on Twitter. That's pretty much that. And um, before before you click this video down, I want to leave you with a little challenge. I know everyone wants uh, challenges uh, now and then. What I want you to do, if you're in full screen right now, click that down. You see that little red box there? It says subscribe. Click that and you will receive a cookie. And if you wonder how this game ended, the random gameplay, it ended 0-0. And bye.